breaking. Hello and welcome back to Idiot Cinema. We are in episode ten, double digits now, baby, double oh, digits. Shit. Baby, I'm <laughs> here. I'm James. I'm here with Ryan and MK as always. And we have two people sitting in. Guest listeners. <laughs> Guest listeners. We have Jackson and Anne over there sitting viewer. in. Shout out to them. Hello. And they have not seen the movie we no. are reviewing today. So this is no going to be has. very... Everybody has seen Now You See Me. No, you've asked, you've they asked directed by seven people and they've all been like, <laughs> no, I've never heard of that. I literally watched that in theaters when I was seven years old. I think I saw my parents see like a tiny bit of the second one, but not... The second one's bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, good, not as Harry good as Potter's in it and he's bad. <laughs> that was one of his first like... Rolls non, non Harry Potter roles, anyways. Yeah, he's like what twenty three. Yeah, today we're doing. <laughs> what are we doing? Just say it again. Now you see me. No, see, he doesn't even care for the title. That's how much <laughs> no one 2013 knows. Twenty thirteen. Direct. Oh, hold on, let me pull the directed director. by who? Who directed it? Uh, Martin Freeman. Scorsese. Oh, well, that would have been great if Scorsese <laughs> directed it. Uh, Louis Leterrier. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Louis Leterrier directed Now You See Me, yeah. released in 2013, There's starring such people as Jesse Eisenberg and Woody, Woody Harrelson, Harrelson, Morgan Freeman, Dave Franco, Isla Fisher, Michael Caine, Michael Caine, yeah, all those good ones. Oh, Ryan oh, oh, oh Mark you, Ruffalo. Ryan can tell you the word Mark count Ruffalo. for this fucking movie. I love this movie. What's the first, say the first the three fir- lines. Oh, uh, <laughs> that microphone's not connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> you brag that you can say this movie word by word. Yeah, I have to be watching it, though, to do it. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. No subtitles, count. though. I don't read the subtitles. No. Because I just know. So we're going to go around the table. What do you guys think about the movie? Let's start with them. I just, loved it. I think it. it's probably bad. Are those pierogies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're good. I want pierogies. They haven't they seen it. terrible. I can't Ryan, you've already said that you really like the movie. Solid 9 out of 10. It's entertaining. <laughs> But it's cliche as shit. It, it was, like, the first one that was like that, though. Yeah, I think because if I watched it back then, I would have been like, holy fuck, this is a masterpiece. But now I'm kind of like... <laughs> like, I don't get... What do you not get? I can explain. Spoiler. Spoiler warning. Spoiler warning for nice When the listener. Hulk was suddenly the person behind the eye, I was like... No, it made sense. You see it in the beginning. I know, With but, his stupid little hood and he's I know, but off. when I know, but when the, the other people have, like... Dave Franco walks right past Mark Ruffalo when they've been like, oh, I saw you earlier on the boat. Well, no, he yeah. was... No. No? No. no. It, it was 2013. Give him a break. While you're at it, do you want to give your Zoom? Um, your Zoom? Really quick? Oh, I, I loved it. <laughs> you want to argue about Zoom because there's nothing else everyone, to do in the other one? Everyone hated Zoom. No, I... We talked about it the whole time. I loved it and they made me start listening. It made me start listening to Smash Mouth. Yeah, this morning I'm brushing my teeth and I look over and he's got... Smash Mouth, like, Walking discography playing, yeah. and I was like... The Spotify, what did you, think, about, what did you think about the scene where the fat kid jumps in the pool? And that was... <laughs> hit too close to home. <laughs> it sounded like an <laughs> SNL skit, but it was meant for children. So you're like, why are they saying... Why are they just fat shaming this kid for the whole movie? And being misogynistic to Courtney Cox. Literally. Tim Allen was not a good guy in that no. movie. Oh, no, he wasn't. But he I was hot when he was younger, though. I did look at the pictures. Thank you. I went on a Twitter account called Fuck Me Tim Allen, <laughs> and I proceeded to read all in of the In the Santa tweets. Claus movies. Santa Claus movies. He was in Christmas movies. Oh, uh, so bad. Uh, pretty yeah. soon we're going to have to do no, Christmas no, movies. No, we got to do Christmas <laughs> movies. Do I have to make a Christmas movie? movie? No, we can still do that Tall like Girl. I think Tall Girl, and then it's Christmas. And then it's Christmas. And then it's Christmas. Christmas. Jack will start the That's Christmas fair. rotation. I can't stand new Christmas movies. The only old uh, ones do yeah. it right. You watched the one with Lindsay Lohan, and, and you I cried. fucking loved it. You loved. It. I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. But then I was like, that's a cute relate." I never cried at, like, romance movies before. And then we started dating, and it was like, what if that was us? <laughs> that's us. That's so us. For real. <laughs> like, I watched Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and I was like, oh, Why don't fuck. we do that one next time? Eternals? No, not <laughs> Eternals. No, not Marvel's Eternals. You're going to make Red a conniption. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one with Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. It's, oh, oh. It's a really yeah, sad one. really sad one. Okay. I went to dance, came back, and he just held me for ten minutes. It was like... You're not allowed to leave me ever. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Enough now. about me being a wimp. Let's fucking oh, yeah. Let's, Now move you on. see me. Nice so you gave it a 9 out of 10. What would you give the movie out of 10? <laughs> I'm going to say an 8. <laughs> only because it's entertaining. I don't care that some things have plot holes and some things don't matter. 
I kind of forgot. You forget what happens in it, and you get surprised mm-hmm. by it again. Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, too. I thought that... I liked the twist. Yeah. I liked the twist. I was surprised by it. I, yeah, it worked because it got me, but at the same time, I was kind of like... But it gets you. But then you're like, oh, that makes sense. He was there the whole thinking, time. Yeah. What I was thinking of that made me like... Oh, when he gets a call from fucking Mr. Morgan, and Morgan's like, you shouldn't trust the little French lady you're working with, and he's like... You're right. And he goes and like yells at her. I was like, you know that it's you. Why would you pretend to be suspicious of someone else when you're in love to, with her? To It's part of his plan. You know? But then she knew and at the then, end anyway. But no. He, she read the newspaper and she was like, I yeah, fucking knew it. Yeah, but it was, I think that was to fuck over Morgan Freeman. How did he know? He looked it up on the bridge, but he didn't see. He left before he saw him yell at her. What are you talking about? When they're on the bridge, they fake the death of the dude on the car. Yes. And he gets the phone call. Yes. Right after the other dude's like, I'm on this project now, you suck. Yes. And then he gets the call, Morgan's like, the French lady, don't trust her, like, because fuck the French, right? And then he's like, oh my god, yes, fuck the French. And he walked over and he's like, <laughs> I can't trust you, get away from me, don't talk to me. It wasn't an I can't trust you situation. Yeah, it's because it was. she wasn't doing anything. It was a you can't trust no. me. You can't see me. <laughs> It was, because it, she was like, you don't let me do anything, and he was like, because I, I don't know anything. Like, you, I could, why did you get assigned to this case when you've only really been on desk work? Like, he was suspicious of her, that was the point. Yeah, but I think that all happened so then it could be believable to fuck over Morgan Freeman, because remember, he put him in jail. But it doesn't make sense for him to do it. <laughs> everything else made it believable. Him, like, running, even though he knew he was going to get tackled and everything like that. You're gonna start crying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, cry. You don't like my movie. Like, you don't like my movie? That was the How only part you? that I was kind of like. I liked all No, the, I got uh, it. That's. Also, right. are they actual. I saw. I watched this fucking YouTube video. Are they actual wizards? No. No, they're How not. How does they she just float sh- in the bubble? Yeah. That's I saw that. That's the only trick that I was like, like this kinda, is not possible. Kinda, it's a movie. Yeah. Well, you can just say that about Zoom while you're at it. <laughs> it's a movie. It was a movie. Was Zoom a wizard? <laughs> yes. Maybe. He could. That makes so much sense. It was... Remember when Zoom vibrated his like finger Like how offended he is. I said one bad thing about Zoom. <laughs> no, because I'm trying to come up with something to say back and nothing is coming. I, I thought all the magic scenes were good. I liked them. Yeah, I was entertained. I was I, entertained. Every yeah. single time they revealed that they that's this is what actually happened instead of this, I was yeah. like, oh my I god, I'm so stupid. That's so brilliant. Oh, I gotta oh. take a phone call, sorry. Oh. It's the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario. How do I open this? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry. <laughs> it's a it's a hoax. He's going out there to sob. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I'm like, no, you see me. <laughs> okay, I, d- I didn't didn't like it. I thought it was good. The I thought it was good. The first magic trick is the best one. It it gets worse after that. With the uh, with the French guy yeah. and the uh, that bank. That one was the best. Like, they, we actually dropped him for a hole into an identical set of oh, a bank, <laughs> and we and we planted freaking seeds in his mind to make him come <laughs> to the magic show so that we had knew we had to choose him. Like that one was good. The one where they sent the money from his account to the other dude's account. I was kind of like, okay, that's not a magic trick. That's just like that's you just know. screwing that's just over theft. Michael Caine. Like, that's just theft. <laughs> Michael Caine got handcuffed to a stage and then Mark Ruffle got tackled by people. Yeah. That's another thing. Like, if he... I get that part, I can see him doing it for believability because everyone was watching him. So he was yeah. like, hit me like, yeah, I'm not in it. Look, they just tackled me. But the other part, no. The other part, no, no, no. I like Jesse Eisenberg. I like Woody Harrelson. Jesse Eisenberg. Which one is that? <laughs> the smart guy? The smart dude with the hair? The one that dated the girl. Yes. Yep. And That's what? another thing. Her character was just woman. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was the her least... Her character was just lady. I thought she was the least developed out of the four of them. The one who was, like, the mind reader. I liked him. Oh, I yeah, Woody Harrelson was really was, was really good. Well, he is, he's good in everything that he's in. I saw him the first time he was in Hunger Games. I love him. He I just know. plays the same character. Drunk man <laughs> who's angsty. We're talking about your favorite boy. Remember Woody Harrelson? Sorry. <laughs> We're talking about Woody Harrelson. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he just plays the same character, though. He definitely got, like, stereotyped into a role. Oh, yeah, he did. He's just Sexy drunk, man role. Drunk old sexy Lovely man. Babe. The one, the one said, trick we, that I have no idea how, he, how they pulled off without them being wizards, the piranha one, where she's in the she tank. She was actually drowning. And the, yes, I know. I, in I, the tape, she, like, fucking, she's trying to be like, yeah, I'm, actually, I'm not faking it this time. Yeah, Let they, me out. <laughs> yeah, she was actually drowning. Did they keep that in the movie? 
Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I mean, I would did. if I was a director. I'd be like, fuck, good job. You did it right. <laughs> yeah, but like when she gets eaten by all the piranhas and she just appears like in the back of the audience, I'm like, how did you do that? How did you do that? Was there like a hatch? Was there a I secret hatch? I think there's probably hatch? a hatch. Or when, when, when the water oh, all I know it was a screen. Point. It was a TV screen. You're a Instead TV of a screen. tank. No, but it was yeah. a tank because later when she's cleaning up and all the piranhas are in there, the card's in there. Okay, so they get these four magicians randomly just get recruited to like start robbing banks. Yeah, we should have done a recap. And they're like, yeah, they all just agree to rob to start robbing banks for this secret organization. Yeah. Run by one guy. Run by one guy. The I couldn't even come up with a good name for it. It was like a Robin Hood thing. Well, it was about the four horsemen that worship. In ancient Egypt. Yeah. Morgan Freeman explained it to us. Yeah. Were you not listening? Was that when he was doing his own little podcast? And then the other dude comes in with the fucking funniest, like... Michael... Yeah. Good job. I was like, okay. This Why do Michael Caine and Mar- Morgan Freeman hate each other? I kind of missed that part. Because... Morgan Freeman knew that Michael Caine was taking money and shit, wasn't he? That, and he knew that the magic that he was doing was... Like, he knew how to disprove it. So they both just kind of were like, shut the fuck up, don't talk to me. I don't know, they just had an agreement that they didn't like each other. Or they yeah. were gay lovers. Maybe. <laughs> who's top, who's bottom, go. Too far? <laughs> he's, he's thinking about it. Michael Caine's too frail. <laughs> <laughs> he's a brittle man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is this between Morgan Freeman and Michael Caine? Uh, yes. What do you, <laughs> you think about answer? this? What do you uh, think about this? <laughs> I, I, I have to agree, too. Michael Caine is a frail He's too man. fragile, yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah. So is he top? I, no, I <laughs> He's too frail, so top? What the know. fuck was that? I mean, if he's, I mean, if he's bottom... Well, he just lays there. <laughs> Who gets it up the ass? <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> But he doesn't he's have the, but he doesn't have the stamina. You're gonna Morgan break his Freeman ass. will break him. <laughs> exactly. But he Shut doesn't up. have the stamina to like keep going. <laughs> So he lays there. Okay, imagine, another one imagine, Woody Harrelson, where does he come into this? <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, imagine, you're just laying on your bed, and then Morgan Freeman comes up behind you, and you just hear his voice, he's like, I can smell you. I can smell you. <laughs> Let me put it in. <laughs> oh where the fuck did this go? Because it's magical. And that's it's why we're magical. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, when they jumped off the building and they turned into money. Yeah, fuck that I didn't was like stupid. that part. That was stupid. That whole, like, it's a show. No, it's not. You just put holograms. Or not holograms. I will say, yeah, I didn't like. You just got like, a really big, like. Yeah, I didn't that like that insane. Pro- pro- projector. projector. Onto a building. And there's, like, cool, like. <laughs> and they're like, here's fake there. money. Bye. Oh, yeah, it was fake. I forgot that, that it was, was fake lame. money. Monopoly like, money. Where can I get the Woody Harrelson bill? The Woody Harrelson dollar bill. <laughs> I need it right. It's somewhere yeah, in the universe. Yeah, I need it right now. That's what I'm gonna get you for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so Mark Ruffalo's dad was the guy who was in the safe at the bottom of a river, yeah. and he drowned. And like the second oh. movie, that's what. The, are you good over there? <laughs> where can I get the Woody Harrelson bill? <laughs> 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 I don't know I'm gonna go look on Kijiji for that. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Harrelson There's bill. probably like an auction site selling it for like five no, thousand dollars. <laughs> anniversary <laughs> just envelope. <laughs> like genuinely almost crying. Name a singular dollar bill with Woody Harrelson's face in it. It is not legal tender. <laughs> you cannot use it. I would have that on my wall. Frames. Yeah, no, that's something worth framing for sure. I typed in. Woody Harrelson dollar bill, and the first thing that showed up was Woody Harrelson crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is an animated gift of American actor Woody Harrelson wiping his tears with money. Oh yeah, that was in Zombieland. When, That's when they're in, oh, right. When they're in like the White House. No, we're not Zombieland. Zombieland. Oh, I love not Zombieland. Like, no, no. <laughs> we have to talk. Me? Zombieland's really good. The second one's also good, but not, not as good. Not as good, but it's still lar- it holds up. It holds oh, up. Yeah. 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 It's one with the zombies. I know. <laughs> I think that's the one where the guy's like, uh, don't... Like, he had all, he has all the rules for... Yeah. That'd be that's such a good zombie apocalypse. movie. It really depends on what zombie you. apocalypse. Because, like, Imagine. if it's if it's Walking Dead, I'm fine. fine. I'm but fine. if it's, like, World War Z... If it's, like, fucking like, 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 no, no, no. The second I see a zombie either A, sprint, or B, jump, I'm just killing myself. <laughs> oh, like, the Last of Us. 
You want those little fucking No, I don't want no. You guys ever see I those Am Legend the with Will Smith? Oh, no, I haven't. Aren't those zombies, like, sentient, though? They're they, sentient, like? and they, like... Like, they have their own, like, society? Kind of, yeah. Does Will Smith die at the end of it? Spoilers for I Am Legend, um, <laughs> listener, if you want to watch I Am Legend. No. Bruh, that, that isn't, that, you can't do that. You can't Will do Smith that actually thing. adopted that dog after filming. Did he slap it? <laughs> Does he slap his dog? I don't know if he slaps I severely his doubt that. The only person he slaps is... It barked wrong at his <laughs> wife and things. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, the only person he would slap is Chris Rock, so the dog would have to do something on that caliber. There's a fucking website called Your Props, which is just a whole bunch of movie props that you can buy. Yeah. And I just found an envelope with all of them in it. <laughs> How much? How much? How I'm much? How much money? How much? <laughs> Not for sale! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 I lied, maybe. I want the Harold Simmel. You could just, like, find a picture of it on the internet and print it <laughs> out. It on, it on, like, but it's not the same. Dome. It's not the same. It's not, I want the authentic. <laughs> I want the authentic Woody Harrelson dollar bill. Do you want that one, or do you want Daniel Atlas? Woody oh. Harrelson. Which one means more to you? Do you know I, lo- I really like Daniel Atlas. Daniel J. Atlas, actually, get it right. Bitch, you oh, can you buy their costumes. <laughs> No kissing in the podcast. No. <laughs> no sex in the podcast. Not have sex in the podcast. Yeah, come on, guys. I'm wiping my nose. I'm really sorry. That's really gross. <laughs> Why can't I buy it? I'm oh, sorry. I, I wiped my in. nose. That's really gross. We were just talking about Michael Caine fucking... <laughs> Morgan yeah. Freeman, Morgan yeah. Morgan Freeman. This is his face when he watches them have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hat. I like the hat that he wears. Really the fucking it. fedora. Like, look at it. It's in a fucking envelope. Where do I get that envelope? <laughs> is is it for sale? Can you get? I like I like the I like the part where so. Jesse Eisenberg was about to have sex with a woman, and then he just fucking like leave. I got this card. Leave. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. 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 go get the fuck out. You don't even out. have my number. I I'm a magic. magic. I'll, I'll find, find it. it. <laughs> I was like, oh. he did not find it. He, he didn't. Because he was in love I think with my the favorite... woman character. Yeah. Because that's it. She is just lady. My favorite, like, intro scene for one for Magicians, I liked the, uh, I liked Woody Harrelson's with us. He was very good. Yeah, it showed his character the most. The other yeah. one was like, I get pussy, and that was kind of it. <laughs> Dave Franco just did, like, a bad magic trick that got found out in, like, five seconds. And, and then, he just stole And money. then he just stole a guy's wallet. Like, yeah, I didn't like his character. He's not really much. a good magician. He's like a That's kind of why he was working with them because he was like he was a he just stole he did the actual no. stealing while they did yeah. all the little pretty shit to make it like what is he, what are those people called where they like stealth be take your shit while doing other like pick pick pocket. Pocket. Pick, yeah thank you pick of the pocket I liked it yeah, I liked the scene where he fought uh, Mark Ruffalo and uh, the other guy with the oh that I like scene no when he disappears behind the fucking what was it. The curtain. Yeah. And we just fireball my car. Are you Mario? What the fuck <laughs> no, are you No, it was flash paint. It was flash paint. It was Mario. He so became Mario. He had the, the he fire He ate flower, the flower. And he got him. Yeah, this movie is actually set in the Mario <laughs> universe. <laughs> yeah. It's a prequel it's to a the It's a prequel to the Mario. To the upcoming why, Mario movie. That's why she movie. floated in the bubble. That would make so because, much sense. Because, because she, she just died. She oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's just like, it's all connected. It's it like, is. Yeah, last episode we solved Welcome seven. Welcome to Game Theory. Welcome <laughs> to Game Theory. I'm Matt Patrick. I'm Matt Patrick. I'm Matthew Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Matt Patrick. When I was in high school, I was pretty cool. I was the leader of the gamers. He's not what? okay. God. He's not Matthew okay. Is that like a quote? Or yeah, it's a quote. A it's a quote. quote. It's a Matt Pat quote. <laughs> I simultaneously whipped in Nene. That was Matt Pat? That what? was Matt Pat. Shout out to this guy. He named his kid Fred Bear. What? Didn't he name his kid Fred no, Bear? Not. No, I severely <laughs> doubt it. Did he? <laughs> Can we search <laughs> that up? Is he that traumatized? Can we search that up? Can we get okay? We have our analyst on it. <laughs> our analyst. I will, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If Matt Pat came up to me and you was like, "Can we be a throuple?" I could, I would have a hard time saying no. <laughs> Matt Pat. Have you ever seen the thirst traps of him? Oh, of him. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. That chair. Are you guys? Oh, yeah. Are you guys gonna Are you guys gonna invest in Markiplier's OnlyFans for yeah. charity? Oh, yeah, I mean oh that's up Pat, to you, babe. If I ever get famous, please don't look at this. So it's a nickname. Don't, don't a, look at me thirst trapping. It's a nickname. It is Freddie Julian Fredbear Patrick. 
I, damn, I thought it was like his middle name was Fredbear. <laughs> no, wait, it's not. Wait, Matt Pat's last name is actually Patrick? Yeah, yeah. that's why he's Matt Pat. It's Matthew Patrick. That's that's, the, that's he the has name. two first names. Matthew Robert Patrick. <laughs> Matthew Robert, three first names. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a fucking Matthew loser. Matthew Robert <laughs> Frederick. Is, is he that traumatized by Finance and Furries that he had to name his child after Frederick. one? <laughs> one, yes. Frederick. I would have named my kid Balloon Boy. <laughs> you guys ever watch uh, uh, Food Theory? No. I, there was this one, there was one where he was in the grocery store and it, how long he could survive in a grocery store all alone. And it was, you guys I mean, there's like infinite me you don't food. Want this? Look at that man. Mm-hmm. It's cause that man is sexy. I let him put his... <laughs> honestly, I don't. Honestly, I don't think I don't think I'd be able to put up with a man who just talks about who just, just like, like overanalyzes like, video games and then just think of what like, FNAF. Like in the middle, dude, he's like, "Tell me FNAF lore right now." Where was the bite me? <laughs> this is so funny. You know? Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then, that's why we. And then what do you? I can't say that. No, 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 Germa. Do you guys know who German Absolutely is? Absolutely not. Yes. Are you that man to is his buck teeth. No. <laughs> Let me pull up my German yeah. pages board. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I do. Okay, um, we're going to have teeth. an argument over now this. Now You See Me is a good movie. <laughs> 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 okay, Now You See Me, but... You can't tell me that he's me. not so baby girl. He's so baby ugly. He's... <laughs> <laughs> he is not attractive. Shut up. <laughs> Look at this! Look at that man! Is that Matt Pat? That is Matt Pat. I think I'm getting a, a salty borderline. He's rubbed. What Literally. The fuck? <laughs> I love it. Where do you it. find this shit? Actually, let me save that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Dave Franco guys. died, I wasn't sad at all. Oh, me, Who's that? Well, I mean, when he died. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jack Wilder. I was like, you had a cool scene. I guess you're out now. Yeah, well, I was like, how did you mess that up? He just... That's another thing. He knew it was fake. So why did he go into the burning car and... To make make it it look real. To make it look real. So he also was just so smart that he knew when he was going to blow up? Yes. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. And then they explained later, yeah, the bus actually had another car attached to it And no one saw that this car was hovering in front of it. And it picked up all the passengers and no one was like... And Woody Harrelson was driving the bus the whole time. Woody what? Harrelson is behind everything. Yeah. Wow. wow. And in the I wish second he was one. behind me. <laughs> and in the second, the second one, one, he has a twin brother. Woody Harrelson? I was like, <laughs> yeah. that sounds like <laughs> the a second I, I, one. He's like twist. excessively gay, too. Dude, I, I saw, dude I saw a scene with him, and I think there was two of them, and I thought it was like a schizophrenic episode <laughs> that he was having, and I was like, wow. Uh, the only scene that I see. That sounds like a Fast and Furious <laughs> twist. What, that it's Woody really Harrelson bad. has like a like a twin brother? Oh yeah! Wait, wasn't on. that the wasn't that the whole premise of his the... name is Chase? Boo! Wow. Boo! They have a scene where <laughs> 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 he looks nuts. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a scene where they fall down like a sh- like a the garbage chute. The garbage chute, and they just end up in fucking like Japan. No, and they, 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 just play it. they got hypnotized going down the chute, and then they were like passed out, and then they sent them on a plane there, and then they also they woke he up. Landed in the thing. In they woke up in the garbage they can were in, in China. I didn't even notice that. I just thought they fell in a garbage can, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of nutty, actually. He is. He's not okay. He's so nutty. He's kind of he's kind of nutty, guys. He's kind of he's, 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 he's so big. He's so big, girl. I fucking love saying that. He's so baby girl. He's so baby girl. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he's I agree. Sick. Yeah. I take a ride on I'm a magician, sick. and he's like. <laughs> that. <laughs> what the fuck? This has been a good talk. I this has been a good talk. I fully got invested in. Matt Pat throws traps. What was the last ten seconds? And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> really silent. Every <laughs> podcast, it gets m- a little more Unhinged. like we start talking like, more un- and more about gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel it's like <laughs> it started in "Don't Worry, Darling" when oh. we were talking about uh, Harry Styles. Oh my god! I'm gonna make the next movie. We watched the 365 days. No, no, no! no. I, I can't. The There's a gay scene. I can't. No, I can't do that. I can't no, watch the movie again. One. We gotta watch Tall Girl. You chose Tall Girl. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Are you serious? I always pick I the bad one movies. My sister, my sister made me watch it. I saw an Invisalign oh, commercial on my Instagram feed, and it was her from Tall Girl. It was the Tall Girl from Tall Girl, and I was like, "It's the Tall Girl from Tall Girl." <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
Hey. They need to finish that trilogy off. Like, are yeah. you serious? Uh, <laughs> it needs to finish. Who... Who's going to be picking the last movie movie before Christmas holidays? Well, the last movie is going to be Tall Girl. Tall Girl? And then we're going to start off Christmas movies. Okay. Yeah. Somebody should pick Falling for Christmas with Lindsay Lohan. I don't know what that is. It's, all, it's new on Netflix, and it's really good. They literally... So they try to do the whole influencer is bad character, and it's fucking Markiplier. They literally, it's like... It's not Markiplier. Made a he just looks mildly Asian. Asian. <laughs> He's mildly... Yes. And also he has... You they make They make him do the sultry voice. Like... He picks up his face like, British. hello, everybody. No, they literally copied Markiplier. He's in red all the time. They copied Markiplier. Does he have a red mustache? <laughs> I will show you the character. It was actually like, that's Markiplier. Does he carry around a tiny box named Tim? <laughs> tiny box Tim. I just typed in Markiplier. That's not what I was looking for. Uh, the Christmas movie I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to pick Christmas with the Cranks. Starring I Tim fucking Ma- love Christmas I, with the Cranks. I love it, too. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Dan, Ac- Dan Aykroyd and I Julie Curtis. And- oh, my Christmas movie... Do I get to pick a Christmas movie? Yes, you do. Home Alone 2. <laughs> Home Alone, okay. I movie. think Home Alone 2. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the I first love one. them both. Great. But so 2 is sense. just I, better. I, I feel like that's kind of an unspoken opinion that most people have. That's the one that, that established that Marv is, is yeah. Marv is superhuman in that one. He takes, like, five bricks to the <laughs> oh, skull. <yeah. laughs> and then... Dude, I just love Joe Pesci Dude, in it. I, I love Joe Pesci. I want... I would want so badly to talk about Home Alone 3 because that oh, one they introduced. The villains Korea. are fucking North Korean terrorists what? who are looking yeah. for a missile chip that's got hidden within a remote control car that yeah. ended up at this kid's house and he manages to outsmart all of them and they're like trained operatives. Wow. They are like trained oh. operatives. No. Fuck. And then Home Alone 4, Marv comes back but he's short. And he's played with a guy who plays Ernest. Markiplier. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's not, 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 it's not <laughs> Markiplier. No. They make him Markiplier. Like, I see it with the upper half of his yeah, face. Hello, everybody. Not the lower half. Yeah. It he, looks like a mix he's of... He's not even the same hair he's anymore. Dying. It looks like a mix he's of... out in the open. He's dying. He picks up his camera. He's like, <laughs> hello, everybody. He he's like, that's Markiplier. Spoiler alert. He ends up being gay in the end, too. Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were watching this movie. My theory remains... No, um, have you, guys, have you guys ever seen the movie The Spy Next Door with Jackie Chan? No. Yeah. Parts. Oh, it's <laughs> so good. I, I think I have, but I don't remember anything about that it. That movie made me genuinely believe I was a spy when I was a kid. Yeah. That along with Spy And this movie made you believe you were a magician. Was, was Jackie Chan like the neighbor or was he, he was he the was neighbor? He was the neighbor. Spy Next Door makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus was in it. What he the was fuck? the head of the... <laughs> was it? Where's Hannah Montana? What the fuck? Oh my god, is there a Hannah Montana movie? Yes. There's probably more than one. Is there like a lot of Hannah Montana? I don't know. I feel like there's a Wizards of Waverly Place movie. There is, yeah. There's like two. I'm trying to think of like a really bad movie. That was really good. No, hold on. Maybe we should watch it. I feel that. like I can find a worse movie. What's the time, ladies and gentlemen? Ryan raising his hands. hands. Yep. So, so, my Christmas movie, I changed... It from Home Alone 2. What is it? To the Good Luck Charlie Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. I watched it the other day. <laughs> yeah. Is that Charlie really Brown good. or is it? No, what the fuck are you talking Sir, about? You said Charlie and I said Charlie. You ever see the show Good Luck Charlie? Disney Channel shows. No. Good Luck Char- no. I was not a Disney Channel kid. I was a Cartoon Network kid. I watched Adventure Time you? and fucking Bitch. Gravity Falls. Well, so did I, but I also Gravity had culture. Disney. What the hell are you talking about? What? What? <laughs> Gravity Falls <laughs> Disney XD. No, it, it used to be the other one. Still, Gravity Falls is a Disney. I, 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 did, I wasn't, I wasn't into like the live action <laughs> Disney shows. I just didn't like them. Fun no, fact. Fun good. fact. You know when Josh, you know when fucking Gibby jumps off the fucking like ba- yeah. the fucking rafters and he hits the ground. He's like Gibby, fucking hits concrete. <laughs> yes. The stunt double actually broke all of his ribs for that stunt. Actually. That was actually just concrete. Yeah, no, that was that was actually just that wasn't. That was actually Wait, are you just, just fucking good luck. No. Charlie is a snuff film. What the fuck? <laughs> no, Gibby was an iCarly. You iCarly? S- what? Gibby, <laughs> the stunt double broke all of his legs. Who was the broke... chubby kid at Good Luck Charlie? Was that? No kid? one. There was a chubby kid at Good Luck. It was no. The Gibby. only chubby person in that show was Miss Daphne. And Bob Mm-mm. and Mm-mm-mm. I'm scared v. what Jack's gonna pick for the Christmas movie. I don't know. And that was it. Yeah. It's gonna be something no. horrible. I, I, Actually, I the mom. Like it'll, oh, it'll be a movie that just has like a Christmas scene. 
not He's like gonna pick fucking Die Hard. I have not seen Die Hard. I have not seen Die Hard. Let's watch a Christmas movie. Die Hard, and she'll be like. I guess we're not watching any Christmas movies. I've actually never seen it. Let's have this debate. Let's have this debate right now. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It's set in Christmas, but are the themes, like, based around Christmas? Like, I know it's set within the time span of Christmas, but just because it's set then does not mean it's a Christmas movie. Because there's snow in the background doesn't mean it's a Christmas movie. Alan Rickman was in that movie, and I love Alan Rickman. Was that Snape? Was that Snape? Yeah, it was Snape. I don't got a Christmas movie. I can't think of any. Yeah, because you don't watch movies. No, I don't. We got Christmas with the Cranks over here. Fucking, there's so many Christmas movies. Yeah, I'm, I You could choose I'm Jim Carrey's The Grinch movie. So that would I have a fun that thing to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Jim Carrey's Grinch was great. Like, me and Jack were talking about this earlier. The scene where he fucking takes off the fucking tablecloth yeah, yeah. off the table. Oh, and then that was, it, that was, it, it's perfect. Happen, yeah. And then he comes back and fucking like wrecks the whole table. Yeah, that was all part of the, yeah. Dude, it's... That one actually wasn't yeah. a masterpiece. Wow. This is, this is a good movie. It's a good. It's made me laugh. Yeah. It made me laugh. It made, it made, me, me, it made, it made me, me giggle. Me I like the scene. <laughs> I like the scene in Christmas with the Cranks where Tim Allen's on the roof and the snowman turns into a demonic entity <laughs> and scares him. Oh my god, can I make us if everyone wants a Krampus movie? Like the good one, or like one of those random it, ones? I never find I've, good one. I've never seen any of the, any movies of like a Krampus like the one with Adam Scott. Adam Scott's in one of those, and he's really, it's really good. I don't know. Dude. Yeah, like the one. It's like a horror comedy. With, oh, he was the like the attractive like brother and stepbrothers. There was an attractive one. The one who was like it was like a cappella. Yeah, he was. He was the, there in the car, they're all singing, and then he gets really. The one mad. He, when he came up in the treehouse and he lifted. He up was his shirt supposed and to be hot. <laughs> Pointed at he looked like my dad. The guy who organized. Just like, not like your dad. Caroline. Your dad looks like John Favreau. Yeah, my dad does look like John Favreau. You want to see my dad? <laughs> sure. Listener, MK is yeah, this up was, a picture of her father. Can you make the? This is Adam Scott. That's Adam Scott. That's supposed to be hot to you. Not that hot. man looks like a Tim Burton special. <laughs> I, I never said hot. Did you not see me go like this Have when you I said attractive? Seen him? <laughs> oh my god. Where's my camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Make the um. Remember when this episode was about now you see me? (laughs) I remember. That's my father. That's John Favreau. I kind of see it. I kind of see John Favreau. I don't know who John Favreau is. Oh, no, no, no. Happy, he was Happy Hogan in the Spider Man movie. He he was in Chef. And Iron Man movie. He played Chef in Chef. He was like the big (laughs) dude who was trying to get with Aunt May. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let me see. Okay, I got a good picture of him. Ready? Okay, wait, no, hold on. I got a bad young picture of John Favreau. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know who he is now. I know half. Happy now. Hungan. Happy Hogan. Literally, look at that's the that's same. That's the same fucking oh. person. Oh. Oh. That man looks yeah. more like my dad than my yeah. dad does. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the it's the hair. Same. It's the face. I just want to see them next to each other. What the it's what? the same person. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell my dad that we bullied him in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast. You know me, John Favreau. The <laughs> you know John Favreau. So I can Favreau. like this video is about you, Dad. And when he goes to click the link, he just sees John Favreau's face in the thumbnail. <laughs> I told him that he said that once, and he genuinely like went on like a little tamper tantrum. He's like, "No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to say your. I don't want to say anything about your dad that my. But John Favreau is attractive, so like I don't. <laughs> you, you said that, Ryan you wants said to have I'm sex Scott with my attractive. father. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Please never say that ever again. Never. Have you never. guys have you guys seen the trailers for the new Christmas movie with uh Oh David Harbour? No, no, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds and, Ryan. and Will Will Ferrell. It's like a Christmas yes, Carol. That, that looks fun. Oh, yeah. I, I have seen the one that you're talking about mm-hmm. though. I want I, I want to see that one too. Does David Harbour wrecking people shit as Santa Claus? Yes. Oh that, yeah. That's a, that is a yeah. fun premise for a movie. Can I pick right? that movie? Can we all go see it? Well, sure. thanks, guys. Sorry, silent. I'm trying to make it. <laughs> Can we see it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to make no, a fucking thing. Yeah, man. But after we watch Christmas with the Cranks. I've never seen that one either. It's good. What Name the, every Christmas like I've movie. I've never seen it. Name every Christmas <laughs> Home Alone 1. Home Alone 2. Lost I've in New York. I've always seen Home Alone 1 and I watched There's it last five. night. Home Alone 3. Nope. Home Alone 4, nope. Taking Back the House. Nope. Home Alone 5, The Holiday Heist. And no. a home al- and home sweet home alone. 
There's six There's of them. There's six of them? Yeah, the newest one came out on Disney Plus like, like a year ago. Oh. And it had the it has a British kid. Well, no and he oh, literally like like, tore, like the people that are breaking into his house <laughs> are literally like he stole something <laughs> from them. He stole something from them and they're coming to reclaim their rightful property and he responds by like tormenting them. <laughs> I need you like, to say that to me because my dad loves this guy. <laughs> me, sorry. You're going to drop my dad's full legal name in a like, like he, Like one of the burglars like, steps on, on a nail or something and then, and then he's like, ow, the my movie. foot, ow, my foot. And then the kid responds right by like, dropping a weight on her, on her foot again and she just... It's such a horrible movie, dude. I haven't even seen it. I... Sorry, we were not listening. We're over here looking at... I'm over. I'm just... My father figure in her name. (laughs) (laughs) David (laughs) comes out. (laughs) I can't look at it with a... Okay. See, it's going to be... The thumbnail is going to be the the thumbnail that I already made. It was just, now you see me. And then it's just going to be like 10 minutes of now you see me. And then it's going to (laughs) be... This this has been like... How much your dad looks like. How much your dad looks like John Favreau. Make that We're gonna be more invested for Tall Girl. We're gonna be more. Uh, yes. I might actually be invested for one. Tall Girl. I'll have to come in for this one. How's the weather looking up there? Like ugly bitch. <laughs> I it, wish they actually made it mean. Dude, I dude. It wasn't in the mean. first one, her her one issue is that she doesn't like being tall. In the second one, they couldn't come up with another issue because she's already past her being tall and she's okay with that. So they just give her like schizophrenic schizophrenic voices in her head that like try to like torment her and yeah. make her like You're hate tall herself. And and what? a psycho. <laughs> Excuse you? Yeah, and is this on Netflix? Ones. Yes, they're both oh on Netflix. God. What the fuck? Can we watch both of them? <laughs> we could watch both. Yeah, yeah, watch both of them. The Tall Girl all. Duology. The- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Tall- I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> they need to close out the trilogy, though. Except in this one, she needs to, like, be, Become like... a murderer. She needs <laughs> like, to, like, accidentally yeah. kill, like, someone. It'll just be, like... The suspect is tall. <laughs> it could movie. be any one of you. you. Even how tall it you. could be any one of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, how tall is she actually supposed to be in the movie? She's like six something. I don't. She's like five twelve. I think her Nikes are size thirteen. Okay. Oh my god, boo! So are my dad's. She wears size thirteen meds. Nike. Nikes. She's got grippers. <laughs> Absolute dogs. And then and then she How comes in. She she, she can't find love because she's tall. Yeah. And then a tall Swedish a, boy comes in. Get a straight twink. Uh, like, is that you? No. And and like, the, get, then he'll like, be fine no, with her being short. tall. And her best yeah. friend is get a, a closeted gay man. Yeah. And, you're good. and her best friend is a short man yeah. who wants she's to get six with her. Six foot one yeah. and a half. In the is movie. It? Yeah. How tall is the? That's how tall Ava is. Yeah, that's not that tall. It's not that tall. Like, it's tall. Yes. Like, I wish she was, like, Andre the Giant tall. Like, she was, like, Like, seven power. foot four. Like, I like, wish she was that an actual Harry Potter. Hagrid's little brother. Yes. Yeah. Like, in the third one... the camera angle as the kids walk past her. So in the third one, Vern oh, Troyer. Oh, cinematography could just be, like, that's how it feels to her. That's how it how feels it. to be. How's the weather up there? That's a little, I think she gets that said to her, like, ten times in the movie. Like, it's how's the weather it's up awesome. there? <laughs> Dude, the dad from Diary of Wimpy Kids in it. It's he's her dad, and Angela from The Office is her mom. Oh God, that's the worst parent duo. I love Steve Zahn. Me I too. loved him in Diary of Wimpy Kids. But yeah, he was the realest character in that. Honestly, he was. What? He was not putting up with any shit. The dad. He just wanted to work on his battle diorama. I think my favorite scene out of the entirety of Diary of Wimpy Kid movies are the ones where he takes Greg to that fucking. The battle, the re- battle reenactment. And he blows, like, his trumpet to her wing. He's like, yeah. no! God! <laughs> Please, I just love him so much. In one I fucking episode, we've managed to talk about seven different movies. <laughs> <laughs> about eight different reviews. Like, see, now you see me just sparks conversation. That's no, it's just boring. It's a, magi- <laughs> yeah. it's a truly magical episode. Because there's nothing to talk about. You just kind of, like, watch it and you're like, oh, that was really good. Like, you're entertained then, by it and you're like, okay. That was fun. Like, it was, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Let's put like, a season, was, let's a season on Mm. Yeah, no, I love movies where you watch it and you're like, that was a good ass movie, and you're like satisfied that you've seen it. And mm. you never talk about it ever again. Yeah. Like, that's you a good watch movie. It, you, you, can the watch it, you can watch it, you can watch it. You two old men, and then you leave. You like, I like movies <laughs> where you can just watch it once, you don't have to watch it again, you watch it once, <laughs> and, you and know you're what like, happened. I liked it. Okay, go on. I'm gonna I go, go now. Three. You see me fan fiction. Okay, go on to Wattpad. <laughs> Wait. 
BRB. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I We're have going back Jenny. a few conversation yeah. topics. Morgan Freeman. Not <laughs> not between those two. Daniel okay. Atlas and the other the dude who dies. No, no. Was Woody Harrelson? Harrelson? Was Woody Harrelson um, involved? It was no. It was, was it Morgan Ruffles Freeman's character in Daniel Atlas? Who? Uh, Which one uh, is? Mark Ruffalo. Now you've seen me three. What? Yeah, that's been speculated to be coming out for like three years now. Oh. Um, no. It, I was, that was actually, that's funny, because I was in my era where I was like, am I gay? And then I wasn't. <laughs> and you read this fanfic and you're like, mm. I read that fanfic ladies. during that time. That's the only reason I remember it. What's the time, ladies and gentlemen? It's 1221. I don't know if we have time to speed read. We can do that next episode when we talk uh, about Tall Girl. Yeah, let's get some, let's, let's But this one has mild some... sexual content. That's amazing. Oh, did you, this is a good you place sure to, to wrap the MLM up the MLM tag on. Or, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is. Uh, what time is it? It's twelve twenty one. Yeah, we, we don't could, have time. We could, oh, perfect. We could wrap up. We can do. We we can talk about this tall girl episode. We can start it with this, and we can go into tall girl. It can be the intro. It can be the intro. Okay, so that was episode number ten of Idiot Cinema talking yes. about now you see me and so many other things. Seventeen other things. If you guys liked this, please like or <laughs> smash that fucking smash that button. like button. <laughs> smash that like button. Fuck you. In the face. Sub- subscribe. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. We'll that has been you. idiots. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bro fist. <laughs> <laughs>